first question was, what do I do to keep students interested? Um, definitely changing it up. I, I seriously uh, want my students to be able to uh, excel. Um, I kind of teach up a level math, so we're trying to get kids ready for college, so I kind of tie a lot of the stuff that we're doing in class to you know, what the kids are going to see next year and in the future. Um, I'm kind of fortunate with also that you know a lot of we're starting to get kids really a little more mature now, so they kind of understand that you know they have jobs and they understand how important math is for the future, and it makes it a lot easier. All right. So what I like about teaching social studies is that it changes every day with current events and just new teaching styles that always pop up. There's always different ways. Ow! There's always different ways that you can approach things. <laughs> different ways to keep students on their feet especially with all the medical changes today, as you can see here. Um, very structured and very laid back at the same time. So I always start with what it is my procedures are and what my expectations are. And once we get a rhythm going, um, students know that it, it's okay to have fun and it's okay to break into something that might be a teachable moment if um, it fits the course because they feel safe with those parameters that I've set forth and then, um, you know, what it is that it means to be a dancer because obviously art doesn't exist in a box, so we can't either. So I, I show them, I demonstrate uh, techniques and, and uh, processes and then from there what I do is I take it to the next step where I, I have them start to work and I put high demands on them right away. The higher the, higher the demands which, which within reason I believe will make for a stronger student. If I back off and allow the kids just to make whatever, then their product will not be as, as good as what they're capable of doing. I just try to work with kids and try to get the best out of them and, you know, again, show them how, you know, math applies to their future. You know, teaching math is kind of unique because you, you have the situation where you go into a class of like 45 people and they have absolutely no uh, interest in what you're trying to do or, you know, they have a natural math phobia and it's just kind of, it's kind of neat to break that down. You, you try to put math into real world situations and, and again, just try to make them better at it. No pressure, you know, we've got a great CTE Medical Foundations program. It's great seeing what the students do, especially working with seniors. All the things that they're trying to do, like when they're trying to get blood, seeing if it works, seeing if it doesn't work. Does she look stressed? It looks like she's a little nervous now. Um, also giving the kids a voice, so making sure that they have opportunity to have input by creating their own pieces, um, asking them what it is that they're interested in learning and seeing how it works with our curriculum. So trying to help students uh, learn what they're capable of doing and, and building towards it makes it even better and that way they, they do push themselves, they learn how to push themselves and create better. Um, my favorite part about teaching dance is being able to do what I love, staying physical, um, and just getting to know all my students. You get to know them in a different way because obviously they're not confined to their desks um, for most of the time. And so movement's a very open and vulnerable thing and I feel like I get to know a different side of my students than I would if I were just a teacher in a traditional classroom. And the other question, what's your favorite part about teaching math? Uh, again, you know, you see people when they first come in here and they have a deep-rooted hate for math and you kind of open some doors for them, show them some different things and how it applies their lives and, and uh, you know, it's kind of cool to see them grow and, and get better at it. And that's all I can think of. Watching them succeed. Having a, having a kid come out with a piece that is beyond what you could ever imagine or hope for makes it fun and enjoyable. Other than that, it's a great subject to teach, and teaching is fun. best part is every year you get to work with a new set of people. Uh, what kind of job where if you don't like the people you work with, you can say, well, they're gone in a year, or if you like working with them, you know you got a new set coming in. So teaching is a great profession to get into. It's really fun, a lot of different ways to do it. best part, too, is if you don't like your job, you can change the way that you work the next day.